perfectly good bag of chips. Survival of the fittest, lad. Never open. <laughs> As he tries to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Double Toasted Live in New York is right around the corner, Friday, September 10th, and there are less than 100 tickets left. But I want you to join me for a night of comedy and games. And I want you to get your tickets now before it sells out. So go to DoubleToasted.com or go to X1Entertainment.com forward slash double dash toasted dash Brooklyn. And we'll see you there. Hey, everybody, before we start, I need to let you know that this movie roast is being brought to you and sponsored by HelloFresh. And we're about to roast a movie about food. So what better time than now to tell you about my newfound cooking skills? And people are like, Corey, you a damn lie. You can't cook nothing. We know you. You can't cook. Even if you could, you ain't got time to cook. Well, you know what? That used to be true. I could barely pour a bowl of cereal. But thanks to HelloFresh, I'm cooking more than I ever have in a long time. And I'm looking great while I'm doing it, too. Thank you very much. HelloFresh makes cooking so much fun and easy with pre-measured ingredients that allow me to make low-calorie meals in about 30 minutes. Not going to lie, probably a little longer for me because I'm just getting back into it, but not long at all. And if the food don't get you, and it should, look at all those wonderful meals right there. But if that don't get you, then maybe saving some money will. It's 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store. And you know eating out is expensive. You know, you go to those restaurants, they jack the prices up on those meals. So it's 72% cheaper than eating out at a restaurant. And one of the cool things about this is that they also send you these recipes right here. Fancy recipes too. I just cooked this the other day. This is Steakhouse Pork Chops. Cool. if you don't quit lying to us, that's so fancy. We know you lying now. You didn't make no pork chops, especially fancy pork chops. Well, I want y'all to look at this right here. I got the proof. Cook this myself. Look at that. Making sauce, roasting vegetables over here. The pork chops... Oh, look at these succulent pieces of meat right here. Tell me your mouth ain't watering right now. You know you want a bite. If you were at the house, I could have given it to you, but you're laughing at me right now, so I'm not giving you anything. And here's the final product right here, the final piece of art. There's the meal. Ta-da! Yeah, cool. You're talking about all that pork. Uh, I'm a vegetarian, thank you very much. Well, you know what? On the app for HelloFresh, whether you love to eat a lot of meat, are you a vegetarian? They got all kind of recipes and meals to prepare for any kind of diet out there. So they got you. And I got you too. What I would like for you to do right now, I want you to go over to HelloFresh.com forward slash double toasted 14. Use that code right there and get up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com forward slash double toasted 14 that double toasted is all one word by the way and get yourself up to 14 free meals plus free shipping bon appetit people and i want to thank hello fresh for sponsoring and supporting us in this movie roast that we're about to do and thank you too this has been out for a while and i have saved this movie for just a special occasion <laughs> as this <laughs> Uh, this film right here that we're talking about, y'all know it. You've been waiting on it. We got it for you. Finally, food fight. They're building an entire army. His biggest case ever. So for those who don't know, this is, this is, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all something, man. This is probably the, the worst movie I've ever seen, which means that it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It is, this is one of the most <laughs> It could probably be the most baffling piece of cinema out there. It's been described as the room of animation. This is the 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 Roger Rabbit of groceries, the Roger Rabbit of of grocery food movies. I say that this is the worst thing I've ever seen, and also the greatest thing I've ever seen. I say this having seen, after we've all have seen things such as Sir Billy, a grandpa, Sir Sean. Sean Connery. Ugh. We've seen Sir Billy with Sean Connery. And I thought it could get no crazier, awkward, lower, or more baffling than that. This is after we've seen Asylum animated movies. Frank Abelouza. Who all misbehave. Ow! 
A prank a day keeps boredom away with the great Dick Van Dyke and Ja Rule. That's right. People, I, I say this after we have seen these images here, but this here is the most insane thing I've seen, mainly because of the cast that they have here. Charlie Sheen, Christopher Lloyd, Eva Longoria, Hillary Duff, Wayne Brady, Chris Catan, Ed Asner. But these are people that we would think would just not do when something you like start, that. When, especially with voice acting, <laughs> you don't know what the animation is going to be. Right. This is the Roger Rabbit of grocery store food movies right here. All you got to say is Roger Rabbit. That was the pitch. It was going to be Toy Story meets Roger Rabbit. Toy, I knew Roger <laughs> Rabbit was in there somewhere. So they took Pixar and Disney and people said, shit, I'm in. Well, how is this the Roger Rabbit of grocery store shit, movies out there? not? <laughs> <laughs> this deals with uh, Charlie Sheen as Dex... <laughs> What Dex the Dog Tective? Yeah. Dex Dog Tective here. He lives in a grocery store where at night all of the brand food comes to comes to life, which means that all of the all of the mascots and the icons, which this is so trying to be Roger Rabbit there. Like in Roger Rabbit you have tunes. These are not icons, they're Ikes. Yeah, I know. And but alongside I kept calling them Ikes, and I was like, Ike, Who's Ike? Ike? Oh, icons. Yes. At night, they come to life, and everything is one big city, one big party, except that Mr. X comes in, who wants to stock the shelves full of brand X. Pretty much generic, generic. shit. Generic. Yeah, no, 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 no matter how popular a certain brand is, Chef Boy ID, get that shit out of here. Brand X is taking over, baby. But that's what he used to do in the commercials in the 60s and yeah, 70s. Yeah, right. You but, want Brand yeah. X or you want this. Yeah, but Brand X comes in, we're going to take over the store, and now all of the Ikes, what's going to happen to our world? What's going to happen to us? We're going to be homeless. We're going to die. But it's up to old Charlie Sheen as Dex Dog Tective to save dog. the day. I, 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 you know, I got to tell you, man, I'm, in addition to this being the worst, greatest <laughs> thing I've ever seen, I just, I've never been so confused. <laughs> I have never been so confused after watching a movie and yet wanting to see how far it would go. It's, it's, this is almost commendable. It's almost like a. It's almost like art. It's almost like a. It's a thing of beauty, man. Plus the whole journey of how this this finally got made and released. Oh yeah, it's fascinating in its own. And, that, that's a movie in itself. Oh yeah, that's, see, I've read <laughs> stories of that, and yet they managed to pull famous people into it. It's 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 a it's a thing. It's it is a thing of beauty almost, and it's failure. There's not one. Now, one joke that works in this movie, man. <laughs> I've never seen a movie where the jokes that work are the ones that weren't intended to be funny. This was sold by the director who has zero experience in animation as a Roger Rabbit type property, the <laughs> Roger Rabbit of grocery store food. <laughs> and people say, well, that's where the problem is. That's stupid. To a certain extent, we've seen that done before. <laughs> yes! yes! Sausage Party is like fast food that's that works. Or I'm, I'm sorry, Food Fight. Food, it's like it's yeah. like a version of Food Fight that they actually had some cleverness, had some thought into, knew what they were doing. Food Fight is the is what the Sausage Party is what Food Fight wanted to be. Here's the director right here, who you can yeah. see all the stills right here that he has. Oh, so yeah, so you're proud. right. You know, you look at that and it's just kind of like yeah, he's so proud, boy. He's proud of this right there and. Well, stills are good. <laughs> and they're trying to be so Roger Rabbit. Like I said, there's so many things that have gone on to the point that they got, they're trying to pull a little Judge Doom thing with uh, having oh. uh, Christopher Lloyd in there. They, they got a premise, but they got no cleverness. They got something right there. It's just nobody knows what the hell to do with it. When the store comes to life at night. So it's just, I, I, I can get with this. I can even get with mascots coming down and, coming to life and doing clever things with them, but they don't know what they're doing here. At night, when the store comes to life, uh, it turns into a city. Not a grocery Not store a grocery city. Store. With, you know, where the shelves look like they're, they, they are, they are uh -huh. buildings. Uh -huh. No, it uh -huh. is, it's just a city. It's a it's my it's, Chinatown? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's cities with a ton of billboards. <laughs> if anybody now, if this is let's just say that Pixar said, let's go ahead and try to make this 
they would have had all the shelves be kind of metaphors for sure, skyscrapers. Sure. Yeah. And, no, no, that's 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 one of the things. These guys wanted to be Pixar, and yet they lost the, the most important component, which is thinking your shit out. <laughs> yeah, none. <laughs> you know, maybe when the actual mascots, the icons, the Ikes, mm-hmm. you know, maybe when maybe when they come in, when you see the characters coming in, flying off of boxes and flying off of jars. Oh shit, I know that. I buy that. Uh-huh. Oh man, I ate that this morning. You know when they? Oh, st- Charlie the Tuna. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. When they start coming down. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking like, all right, well, then maybe that's when the movie's going to get good and, 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 and the theme will really kick in. The cleverness will kick in. No, 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 no. <laughs> God damn. These characters, oh, these characters start flying out of nowhere. Uh-huh. I have no clue who or what the f- they are. Would excuse me kill you? Oh, great. Now I forgot where I was going. I don't oh. know what he's selling. I don't know where he came from. What we do learn, and we will address this much, much later, what we do learn is that he is very gay. Very gay and very molested. They start introducing, they they start introducing characters that are barely in the film. Not in the movie. <laughs> He's not doing anything. You don't sell dancing. nothing. You don't see him on a box or nothing. You don't see him a jar or nothing. You don't see him on any kind of label. And he and, and and on top of that, ain't got shit to do with this movie. They zoom in like he's actually important. They waste time introducing characters that we will hardly ever yes. see again. Too excited. Uh-huh. To- Three t- two minutes into the movie. That's not even two minutes. And, and, and we're already <laughs> farting. Yeah. <laughs> And for no, for no, no reason. reason. Too excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no subplot about his bad diet. There's no subplot about his intestinal problems. There's no product he's tied there's, to. There, he's not. He's not selling <laughs> gas X or Pepto Bismol. If you were having intestinal problems, why would you buy something with a frog on the box? <laughs> I understand if you can't get all of those mascots because there's no <laughs> people gonna put them in this movie, but except for the stupid ones that did, but. <laughs> Can't you make up products? But <laughs> you know what? I will tell you this. In a way, this was like the realest moment I've ever seen in, in movies because this it really was like this was an accident. It's almost like the frog wasn't meant to fart. Like he just came out to introduce himself. Too excited. And, <laughs> and shit. Oh, oops. Oh, oh, let, oh, let one wow, slip. That, was that me? Oh, oh. So, shit. Sorry. And speaking of making up characters for brands out there, if you don't have an actual brand, make up one. But they just introduced things like elephants, frogs, and what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell? What, what is that? Is that an alien? Is that a mutant? Right? What the fuck is that? I mean, I don't know how much you know about the whole story, but apparently they had the movie halfway done. They kept missing deadlines. Oh, and they had they d- defaulted on loans and shit? Defo- yeah. Defaulted on loans. And then when it was like, all right, just give us what you got. Oh, uh, the hard drives got stolen. Nobody there, stole that shit. They said they never oh, solved that shit. They right, said right, right. Uh, a mysterious thief come in and this is an unsolvable mystery. Yeah, because you stole this shit, bitch. That's why. Yeah. Before we even get into animation, the character designs, the character designs are, are, are horrendous here. Oh, yeah. The character designs are just just sickening, man. They, they, the, now, I think Dex, <laughs> Dex Dog, the, Dex Dog Detective, he's the main character and he looks okay. And plus, Maybe it's because when they introduce him, he's around some weird shit. Like, he's surrounded by these frightening, hairless kung fu hamsters who were just spazzing out the whole time. Dex, the detective who's about to take a fall. They're like, they're on PCP. Yeah. They're just, the whole time, they're just tweaking. Why are they doing that? Tweaking, because they're tweaking and on PCP, that's why. Listen up, fat cat boy. Just in the background, just, it's, at first it looks like they're actually doing some martial arts, but then they just start just doing anything. Yeah, you don't even get that they're supposed to be a threat, because it seems like they're just, right. like, performance yeah. actors. One last chance to hand them over before I cash in your coupons for you. Look, I'm just losing that shit back there. And, and what hamsters have to do with Asians... I don't know what hairless hamsters have to do with anything. It's a take on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, oh, Jesus. they fell miserably. They fell you, miserably. You, you didn't get that, did you? They fell miserably. <laughs> they look like somebody just cut open a nutsack and these oh, just I spilled know. out right here. Well, yeah, why, like why, 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 why make them hairless? Because, <laughs> because rendering fur would have been too much. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And there's such stereotypes that they're constantly, constantly making Asian noises and just for no reason just beating the shit out of each other. But it's 
some. Oh, high, high. That's also, that's racist. It's like you went to a dojo and everybody just on meth. Right. Just, just, just going crazy. Speaking of <laughs> testicles, Dog's best, or Dex's best friend, uh, Daredevil Dan, who's voiced by oh, Wayne Jesus Brady. Jesus Christ, Daredevil Dan. He looks like a vibrating nutsack with eyes. Will you be my best man? This is, you, you bet your box top. It's like my own nutsack is looking up at me. What? <laughs> yeah, don't don't even ask. Are those it's, tears? Those are that's he's a, chocolate. He's a chocolate squirrel. Yeah, what he's selling, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's chocolatey. <laughs> okay. The character designs they get weirder, not just bad. They get weirder. While other animals are looking like animals mm-hmm. in here, they bring in Dex's girlfriend, Sunshine, voiced by Hilary Duff, yeah. who looks like a. Looks like a human woman turned into a work hat. How about we get Chef Boyardee to make us a huge feast among us dinner? Oh. The animators want this character so bad that they couldn't even turn her to a full cat. Had to, look, look at that. These animators just want to f- the whole time. They, this is a, <laughs> a, a, a horny ass This is a horny ass film. And I'm telling you, they were about to make her a cat until somebody said she's fine as hell. You, you notice how often the camera goes up her skirt? Yes. They, they, Dex wants you to know what kind of ass he's hitting because he shows the audience straight up. All right, your table's ready. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. You know, and, and in the middle of the movie, that character just disappears, man. Yeah. With a girl? Yeah. yeah the she sunshine, just, she just gone. She, the character's are already scary enough, and those are the heroes we just saw. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Shit, don't even get to the villains. They had to make the villains. Since they're villains, they just had to make them nasty. They had to make them grotesque. Oh, that. <laughs> One chick in here. One chick, she, oh. she got horrible scarred acne. The Fram toothpaste, no? Yeah, and on your way to the toothpaste aisle, stop by the medicine aisle and get some clear seal because she is wow. up. It ain't enough for her to have cyst, cyst acne on there, cyst like acne. She got Tumors. cavities in there. A unibrow. A unibrow. Just like, God damn. I mean, come on, we get it. She has tumors on her face. Yeah. But, but she's also dressed like a sexy Nazi. And that's the thing. We showed y'all. I want y'all to see this. Can't get no full ass shot of the fine chick in the movie. Not that I'm saying they should do that, but they got to cover that ass up a little bit of leggings. But they make sure, they make sure on this uh, nasty ass Nazi chick over here, they make sure that you catch a little bit of cheek on that right there. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) She ain't got no panties on. (laughs) They got one dude in here. I think he's supposed to be... A peanut man, not the planner's peanut man. I think he's supposed to be a peanut man, but he he ends up looking like a, a, a like a burn victim or something. General X. Or- Security around here. You stole the train off. Looking like a little he- Freddy Krueger or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, somebody said yeah, he like Deadpool or something, man. Well, but yeah, I guess it, if he's peanuts, that makes sense. I, but 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 we don't know. I know. We don't know. He's Brand X. That's all we he know. He works for Brand know. X. They got a nasty, greasy weasel up in here, man. Oh, yeah. So wait, he looked like he just leaving smudges on the screen. Let him go, Cheezel. Dex, what a pleasant surprise. Well, he looks like a turd that just slid out, just just slid out somebody's ass. <laughs> it looks like a like an action figure they just started yeah. adding. Yeah. That's right, doesn't yeah. it? He looks yeah. like he's covered in afterbirth or something. It's yeah. like, Jesus, man. You know, he's so weaselly, he's so slimy, he's not enough for him to look like an actual slimy turd. He's also a pimp. Perhaps you desire a companion for those <laughs> lonely bachelor nights. Not from you. <laughs> yeah, like, like, he's, this weasel is so... Trying to turn he, girls he's, out. He's so, he's so slimy, he's so weaselly, he's literally a piece of shit. <laughs> but where, now those are designs I'm talking about. You've seen them moving, and, you, and, and it's disturbing. But that's where it really gets nightmarish with the animation. When these animations come in with these erratic movements, these erratic ass animations, the animation gets so bad, it just looks like these characters are in pain. You must be Leonard, the manager. I'm your new brand X representative. Jesus <laughs> Christ! It's, it, he's obviously a stroke victim. You right, know? but he's just. <laughs> yeah. And he's wall eyed too. And he's wall eyed, man. Yet the, it's people I would. I would laugh, but he's obviously got the cerebral palsy. <laughs> so just, it's these handicapped, man. I, I had to pause it when, when he walked in and go like, wait, 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 what, what am I missing here? What the right, f- right. people think? 
He's handicapped. He's got cerebral palsy. And he's walk. He's got a severe form of Parkinson's. I had. I could. I had to stop laughing because I said, "This is. This is not funny." <laughs> you <laughs> must be Leonard. From <laughs> you know, you must be Leonard. <laughs> he can't control his movements. Yeah. We've seen people like this, and y'all been around. Y'all seen people with the palsy. Y'all seen people with with Parkinson's, and they and you don't laugh at it, man, because yeah. the shit looks like this. <laughs> He's hurting. This man, I, I said, I can't laugh at this shit. <laughs> the most distracting, uncomfortable looking. Yeah. Oh, 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 wow, that looks God. nothing like it. And saying like, we had to do it all for motion capture. Who? Like, who, Jim Carrey? Who? No, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. It's like, this ain't funny. What handicapped person did you motion capture and decide to make it a joke? You're right. Shit, if I was handicapped, I'd be mad looking at this. He's like, he's like one, two, left, <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> This man obviously had a stroke two months ago. He's still trying to recover. This fool right here, though, Mr. X of Brand X, who's trying to take over the stores. So he's a, this, he's not in the grocery store world. He's actually in the real world now. Mm. Yeah. Re re tell, re re remember this, y'all. Yeah, I was going to say, wait, what? Re remember this. Yeah. It plays oh, into something. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you making me laugh about this shit. <laughs> y'all, hey, remember this, y'all. Mr. X from right. the quote-unquote real world. In the real world. All should be revealed. There is an Dude. explanation. Soon, these characters just start looking like deformed creatures just begging to die. Ran tests on the poison liquid. The exobites are stinging our... Dex, like, get this shit away from me. <laughs> right. It's not of uh, any kind of brand, not like for... Not for like congestion or anything right, right, like, like that. Right, like a nasal X or something, Not, yeah. No, nasal X or... no, nothing like that. Ran tests on the poison. Dude, like, hey, back, back to the... Hey, 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 don't be running at me like that. I mean, these characters are just moving so crazy. Like the way that's... Like, you see the way they just, like, so, uh, so-called animated this? These things are just... They're just writhing all over the place. Tests on the poison liquid. The exobites are stinging like, out. Oh, like, really? God. Like, he's having a seizure right now. <laughs> like, that, like, all these things are just twisting and writhing in pain. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to do the worm. He was trying to do the worm. I think he was just in pain. <laughs> I forgot what they call it when the dog, the like dogs get the, where well, they get the fasties or something. Where you ever seen a dog they when they start running around? They just start running around. Dog oh, yeah. just gets just get so crazy. It just starts running around. And that's, circling the, like in like circles three, four and times, running yeah. distances and shit. I, I forgot what they call it, the fasties or something. But that's what happened in this movie. This movie just gets the zoomies. The zoomies. The zoomies. The, this movie just gets. The animation gets so crazy, the story gets insane that the movie just starts to get the case of the zoomies. Yeah, yeah he's just out there just doing all like they tried to keep with it in the Muslim and they just said shit. Can't contain myself anymore. Zoomies. The movie already has too many sex jokes in there. Uh, and I get putting sex jokes in for the adults, but no adults give a fuck about this. No kids care about this. And the attempts at at edgy adult humor, before you even get to the sex, man, the attempts at edgy adult humor, it's just, it's just, it's just awkward. If, if there's anything funny about it, it's just how much they fail at it. I'm not the one who's gonna be puppy whipped. You cold farted itch. Slap his oh, ass again. Slap his ass I one more time. Oh, that was that God. was that was the absolute worst joke in this whole thing. That is. I'm not gonna be puppy whipped instead of pussy whipped. No, and then. They tried, instead of saying, you cold-hearted bitch, they said, you cold-farted itch. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. I, will, I, I, I actually want to call somebody that, um, and I hope they do me like they did this damn yeah. dog. <laughs> Shut your ass up. They do me like they did this damn dog. Yeah. You, but you know what? That's the one that was actually, uh, <laughs> on, on the, 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 the sound was timed right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, they, they, did, they did that one thing right. They yeah. got to give them that. And this is not even edgy humor, y'all. As we said earlier, as Mar was saying that the movie's just horny. Yeah. It's one of the horniest <laughs> kids' movies I've ever seen. These animators on here just dicks hard the whole time that they're doing this. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it's just the, I mean, that's 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 innuendo. It's just just that's just putting it out there again. Not very well. Ice cream, my favorite. You want a lick? Yes. 
<laughs> okay, I get it. It's a cat. You want to lick some pussy? Oh, we shit. get it. Yeah. Calm your ass down. Yo, horn. <laughs> just, and just the shot of her doing it, like, yeah. it was very, you right, yeah, yeah, all like, oh. Ice cream, my favorite. You want to lick? <laughs> yeah, like, like, like that's supposed to make us hard. Yeah, that's why I took some little jacking off every time yeah. they animated that thing. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, like the mom and dad's would be sitting between the kid and yeah. see that and look at each other like. Yeah. Mm. Right. Like some dude is actually going to start licking the screen when this happens right here. Fuck out of here with this. That gay bat that we were talking about earlier. That gay bat. That gay bat. <laughs> that gay bat could, uh, voiced by Larry Miller. He could, Larry he, Miller's actually very good. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad the movie and the character know, and the dialogue is not. I know. The mo- <laughs> that, gay, that gay bat. That gay bat could. You could give a shit less that he's in a kid's movie. He wants everybody to know that he wants to f- Daredevil Dan. Well, the phrase isn't blind as an eagle, is it? No, it's blind as a bat. What do you think I am? And with you on my back yet? Not that I mind that. <laughs> and people, that is not out of context, oh, by he, the he way. He does that so much. Y'all think, y'all, y'all like, man, you isolated that to make that look, make that look gay. Mm. People, this bat has been trying to f- that squirrel since the beginning of the film. Is that the enticing scent of rich, creamy chocolate? Are you chocolate? Are you made of chocolate? Really? He's like, oh, shit. He said, oh, he said, oh, he said, oh, he's trying to me. <laughs> Do you work out? I use the thigh master. He's like, man, get gone somewhere. Pepe Le Pew would be like, man, this guy. Man, take some of the edge off of me. Hey, ain't nobody trying to get with this man gone somewhere. Shit, that bad is. <laughs> <laughs> but every time he shows up, it is nonstop. That bat was trying, was trying to fuck that uh, that that chocolate squirrel like that bicycle man was trying to fuck them chocolate yeah. kids oh, over there. Oh, them chocolate kids, <laughs> them chocolate kids, kids over there. Man. Chocolate bunnies. Yeah, in. shit. That's I, the only reason why I thought of that because that bat actually kind of looked like him. Man, he got that ball. Yeah, yeah, that ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just cheap too, man. It's just this. Like they go for some of the some of the cheapest jokes that we've seen done over and over again when it comes to like sex jokes. Chicks think chocolate. Oh shit, no, I forgot. That man yeah. trying that that vampire bat trying to get into him and <laughs> I forgot to play the the Daredevil Dan shit. He said, "Well, that's too bad. I'm in the white chicks." Chicks think chocolate. I told you, I knew it. Shit, he can't wait to get in that oh, white ass. Oh, he's like, Whee! <laughs> I can't believe she actually said it out loud to me. <laughs> Shit. He's like, he's basically yeah. doing this. There's a billet joke in there, but you uh, ain't even been there yeah. for <laughs> I mean, on. maybe that was your first time with a white woman right there. Chicks think chocolate. I told you. I knew it. That's Billy at 14 right there. <laughs> they do some cheap. Cheap shit that they that we've seen before. We've seen these sex jokes over and over again, man. Tell me something. Are those melons real? Shut your ass up. I know. Oh, my God. And she had them right there, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Even for a kid's movie, that's, that's childish. That's, that's childish. That's just childish. I mean, you ask who are they making this for? Obviously, obviously not for the kids. They're making this shit straight up. After a while, they say, for me. Crying over spilt milk. Daddy's like, now this is some good animation. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell me about this yeah. cartoon, boy? Yeah, yeah. Shit, this is made for the animators who want to jack off to this. They, they <laughs> no. got her in a schoolgirl outfit. Yeah. I was like, come on, y'all. Now let's, I, I thought then, we were doing this for the children. And, and, and they legs the whole, up. Oh, yeah. oh, they do a whole erotic dance with her. like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they do a thing. Kidding? Oh, no. no. I keep thinking you're lying to me. Man, I, I, would I lie to you? <laughs> no. No, I just mean like, I know, it it's sounds so like, ridiculous. So like, ridiculous. I'm like, okay, yeah. now we're not there. You're like, yeah. Look at that too. <laughs> yeah, man. No, they they do a couple a couple of erotic dances in here. New ingredients. Fast. Just <laughs> game of shot of that. Yeah, make sure yeah. you got that pussy shot real yeah, quick. Oh, shot. Oh, 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 keep that going. Oh, but, okay. Like you do. I can't forget. No. Nope. Titties all in his face yeah. and everything. Yeah, man. Um gave also, him that bad shot. Titties off of right. his face. Yeah. They didn't know when to quit. But they got one character who's a a green lizard Nazi man. And he wants these kids to know everything about his kinks and his fetishes. Kill you. That would be lots of fun. More fun than a spanking. Wait, wait. He's like, shit, wait a minute. He's like, wait, what you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, wait, wait, wait. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, he's like, like wait, this. Wait, wait. 
Yeah, I was about to say, fuck did you say? What the fuck did you say? I mean, this dude, so he's, so he, he's, this white, look, it's one thing to tell the kids how much you're into S&M, but he just tell, he, this, this is where it gets weird, people, this is a kid's movie. He's already telling the, the kids out there, yeah, I love to be spanked, I love S&M, and then they say, fuck it, you know what, he's going to tell the kids also, I also like to be raped. So, hope oh, there are violators. I love a good violation. I love anything to do with violation. He says, I so do with hope there's violators out there. I so love a good violation. I so love a violation. He said anything to do with violation. Anything, anything to do, do with, with violation. violation. Come get this ass. Handcuffs. Oh, fun spanking. Freedom. <laughs> you know, violation of my rights. Mm, violation like of my ass. <laughs> Sticking things up my anus. You might as well just tell people his whole diaper fetish kink thing. I think I just wet myself. It feels rather nice. Diaper what fetishes the... in a kid's movie. Who, I wonder who did that voice. I don't know. It might be my lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would wet myself. This man obviously loves golden showers <laughs> right. and adult diapers. Or he came on himself and said he wet himself. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is nasty. And this is the fine children's entertainment, y'all, right? <laughs> but I tell you, if this movie was a person, it would go door to door telling people <laughs> that I just moved into the neighborhood right, and I yeah. have violated children. I got I to gotta re register with everybody. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a registered sex yeah. offender. <laughs> <laughs> that nose that we were talking about earlier, we were talking about why is that nose there? How come it's not on any kind of product? Why is, is it a Jewish stereotype? You know, I'll even say that it's not even a stereotype. That nose is there to do one thing. You're the only one with a nose for the job. <laughs> Just put snot on people, man. Well, he did punch him. <laughs> yeah. Deserve that shit. Yeah, he, he, he kind of did. Huh? I mean, if all you are is a nose and somebody punches you in the nose, you got to retaliate. Yeah. You're, You're the only one with a nose for the job. Yeah, I got something for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's your job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next time you put your hands on me. Yeah. <laughs> got this nose guac for you, right? Exactly. Oh, the farts. Oh, the, oh, farts. the farts. Oh, the farts in So here. many farts. Just, just, random, <laughs> just random farts in the movie. No setup. No delivery or anything, yeah. just just people just farting at random places. <laughs> Cow just ran through the fart on everyone, that's all. Just crop, that was it. crop dusting. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> just came in. I want everybody to know I'm here. <laughs> okay, now. You laughing, and I gotta tell you, I and, and Martin, you laughed at that man, part. no, not at, no, that, okay, I did kind of laugh because that was so ridiculous. It's, it's so, so, it's so it's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. It's like somebody just streaking through. Yeah, but it's it's also just like we got nothing here. Somebody make a fart they sound real quick. Nothing. That's what I'm laughing about. Is it's so fucking dumb but and man. lazy. <laughs> I did laugh at one far hard though <laughs> because they, they farted so much one character said, fuck it, I'm gonna pull my ass out. I'm gonna pull my ass out. You know, they, 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 these two characters were, <laughs> were, were going at each other, they were arguing, and one character said, fuck it, he pulled his ass out and said, I got this. He fart on that other guy. Yeah, I shoot less. Oh. <laughs> I was like, God damn. <laughs> I ain't saying it like that. I know like a lot of shit, but, but perhaps yeah. I do. Yeah, he, he he loves everything, but getting a fart in his face. That he dude jumped up and midair floated and turned his ass. <laughs> he pulled his pants down, pulled his cheeks out, and farted in his face. <laughs> Yeah, I shoot less. Oh, he, said, he said, "I, I'm done with this." Yeah. Got, oh yeah, well, well, allow me to retort. <laughs> I got one last thing to say. Yeah, I shoot less. Oh, I wow. <laughs> I did not. I, I, I did not see that coming. <laughs> so ridiculous. But basically, he pulled his pants all the way down to do it. Yeah. yeah. He, he jumped up in there. Yeah, it, it turned me there. <laughs> Yeah, he's shootless. Oh, yeah. 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 That dude's head went back. He, ain't it. he goes, who? <laughs> like you punched him in the I, face. I cocked back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember what they were arguing about, but I know he had enough of that shit. 
Yeah, shoot less. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's up there too. <laughs> You're floating. Floating. <laughs> Y'all are saying, well, you know, at least no one shit on anyone in here. <laughs> yeah, not directly. <laughs> saying not. Oh, like, hey, do you think we were gonna pass that up? <laughs> Who was that? That was shit. That's he put weasel. him in a sewer. He put yeah. the weasel in the oh, sewer. Oh, so there's a doo doo in the sewer. Yeah, there's a straight up a yeah, dookie fountain right in. <laughs> Saying not. Oh, get your ass in that yourself. shell. Oh, working out. Yeah, if you notice the the shit is made up as as the same thing as the snot and, and the yeah. uh, and the and the, and the, melon. the chocolate and the, tears, yeah, the chocolate tears and everything. <laughs> yeah. And but, but yet they try to keep the movie wholesome, out of out of all of the, out of all of the doo doo, out of all of the sex jokes, out of all of the snot, all the innuendos, all of the spankings, the anal violations, they still try to be so wholesome that Dex he's so wholesome he gets drunk on milk. Oh, I'm worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> she spiked his ass. <laughs> That's the thing. Him drinking milk would be wholesome if it didn't affect him as if it was whiskey. Because, you know, he drink milk and just like, uh, but he's like, oh, that's good shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, like he just took a shot of heroin. Yeah, or something. I was about to say, he, yeah, exactly. He took, yeah, he drank that milk like he just took some heroin up in his veins. Oh, I'm worried about him. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my medicine, boy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they so busy doing all this nasty stuff with all these characters, they just get lazy with the side characters back there. Oh, sure. Yeah, look, look, look at these. Uh, those Lego men. <laughs> Those Lego men back there doing. Look at these dudes back here doing these Lego. Yeah, these Lego these men. These Playmobil. Playmobil. Yeah. Don't insult Lego like that. No, you're right. It's Playmobil. These Playmobil characters back here. I want you to see these dudes back here doing uh, dancing in unison back here. That name don't ring no bells. From oh Damn. my God. Meanwhile, everybody's moving different in the back, but right. they put the two up here that are moving the same With right no up eyes. in the front. Well, and no they got eyes. a couple of Hacidic Jews. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> laughed at that so hard. That name don't <laughs> ring no bells. They oh, my one, God, yeah. They got one with that Jew. <laughs> well, you know, maybe they're Quakers, though. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? From this, from, that, from that angle, who could tell? <laughs> the only thing the movie got going for it are the brand name characters, and they naturally fucked that up, too. Yeah. They don't know what to do with those characters. They, they really don't. It's like, like, okay, look, we got, we didn't get everybody, but we got some. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Huh? Well, I don't know. Just I, get I them in there. You know what they are? <laughs> they got these characters. You would think that they pay good money. You think they pay good money for Charlie Tuna? Charlie, look, Charlie Tuna. Charlie Tuna, boy. <laughs> Say what you will about Charlie Tuna, but he don't come cheap because Charlie was the brand. He was the face of Tuna for a long time. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah, knew. Uh, uh, sorry, Charlie, but did you think they would make him a main character in the movie? Most of these characters in here that are actual brands, they're just set up for bad puns. Sorry, Charlie. Like, bitch, you gonna step yeah, on me like yeah, that? Yeah, and, that's, yeah, yeah. and that's all you got? Yeah. And this is funny because that was long and liggers, but he's like, Yeah, he's like, oh, he's, like, he's like, I can't believe this bitch. Just. He, he's like, Oh, are you gonna walk away? He's like, you gonna, fucking, you gonna step on me like that? And that's all you got? The same shit that everybody says? Sorry, right. Charlie? <laughs> bitch, you. Right. He just can't believe it. He's like, this. Yeah, he's like, What, what the <laughs> shit? You would. I, I drove. I drove. I swam all the way from Florida for this gig, and this is all I get. And this is all I get. This bitch this steps on my fin joke. and gives me the pun that everybody says to me. Sorry, Charlie. I'm the in wild. The bitch, come here. You ain't gonna give me no. And really, you ain't gonna give me no away. ass or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You gonna give me no ass? He's like, he like, bitch, come here. <laughs> He's like, ain't this thing. <laughs> Who the f you think you are? But, hey, I'm talking to you. But when she walks away, he he goes, Yeah, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Got these characters, and the budget is so cheap that they can't even make the characters look decent. Miss Butterworth, she just she Ooh. looks terrifying. Does she? Oh, excuse me. 
Now you look at Miss Butterworth. <laughs> what I want y'all to look at is y'all notice uh notice Mr. Clean over here. Look at Mr. Clean. He's tired of her shit. Look at Mr. He Clean. Is. Oh, excuse me. You're like, bitch, watch where the hell are you going. He goes, God damn it again. Shit. And by the way, barking up the wrong tree. I love this body language right here. Just this shit is funny. Look, y'all look at this shit right here. God damn, I just got this shit out the cleanest <laughs> shit. Watch where the <laughs> you going. <laughs> it's so it is. Yeah, right. He's like, it's like, it's just all white. And God her, And her damn. like, oh, I'm sorry again. Like, you're just trying to get me wet. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get this, me to take my this, shirt this off. This shit is tired. Stop yeah. it. This shit is tired. <laughs> you know, it's funny looking at the people that they don't want to bring in. Like, are the people who said no. They got, because they got, they, they got a few people where it's clear they said, no. <laughs> there was a because they still try to put them in there yeah. in a way like the Keebler elves. They said, You better get yeah. the out of here, get out of my office. <laughs> the Keebler gnomes, or the yeah, Keebler, yeah, the, right. the, 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 the feebler gnomes, right, yeah, they, right. yeah, gnome home in there. Yeah, don't you say Keebler. <laughs> no, that that was that was the biggest indicator that Keebler said, F You right, get out of my try. office. Don't even, don't even make that tree look like our tree. Can we take a, a free? Bag of cookies. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got Lady X, the girl that was in the school girl outfit, and the woman that was in the, you know trying to you know, fuck uh, Dex before. Uh, it's just it, there's a point where she just she just uh, turns into sexy Hitler and tries to commit straight up genocide. Damn. Killing these fools, blasting these fools, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Chris Catan is chili. I guess the ice, is that the ice penguin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Icy Chili Willy. Chili Willy, okay. I'm exquisite. Ow. Annihilate them. Go. Kill them all. That's the point where she says, kill them all. Turns them straight up genocide shit. That's and that's smart. the last 15 minutes of the movie. They, it, it's a literal food fight. Like they take up 15 minutes of the movie just doing all of this right here. Just throwing food at each other. Making food pun. And not to harp on this sex thing. I don't know if you have this, but like in that whole big fight, she's sending off jets and they do this Michael Bay shot that where she like puts her legs up here and the camera is right at her crotch, shooting from this point to see the planes. Exobites fly! Oh my god, no! You said it was gonna be. <laughs> that was way worse than you like, described. It like yeah. flies through out of flew out of a vagina. <laughs> no, but that was like. <laughs> Half the budget Damn. on that. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Fine. <laughs> Children's entertainment. Child. Yes, yes. Just good, wholesome, good, good wholesome clean. Fun. Drink your milk. <laughs> you see the outline. Well, it's, yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm not trying to be nasty. Fine <laughs> family entertainment, children. <laughs> Exobites, fly. Oh, my God. There you go, kids. Keep drinking your milk. Stay in school, y'all. It ain't over yet, though, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. No more. <laughs> You, you, they, 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 look, I would give it to this movie. They keep topping themselves with this crazy shit up until the end. Up until the end. Uh, that woman, sexy Hitler. Sexy lady ex Hitler uh, turns you know uh, turns out that she is also Mr. Stroke victim. A robot? Yeah, that's what yeah, we yeah, that's, that's what, what we all, all said. Right. Wait, what? A robot? Uh, what the? F <laughs> who somehow crossed over into the to the the human world? Yeah. And How the, they don't um, explain it? They don't. Okay, I get it. sorry. I mean, it, it might have something to do with the power of. Of sunshine, yes, that sunshine. The chick that was missing at the beginning of the movie, turns out she was not missing. She was kidnapped by Lady X, who I guess used her her, her goodness to cross over to the human world, which they don't explain. Dex just says that perfume or that concoction they had that was so evil. They took your goodness, and you're so pure that they were able to turn it into pure evil. Whatever the f that wow. means. The evil ex turned your sweetness, your goodness, into something vile. 
does that mean? But the way he grabbed her face, where she was like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I still don't really want to be with you." Your goodness, <laughs> you caused this. He's, he's like, "Yeah, <laughs> you're too pure. You must be destroyed." <laughs> the evil. She's act. like, oh, "You're hurting me." <laughs> <laughs> but also, in addition to kidnapping Sunshine and being a robot, Mister X, which explains, I will say this: it, it, being a robot that does go back. Oh and, yeah, and, and and explain a few things. Explains why this fool was doing all this shit right here. You know, I, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it does explain it. I mean, it ain't a good explanation, but hey, it's an explanation. May I help like, you? She, she couldn't drive that shit. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> and also, in addition to that robot, she is also another character that was hardly ever mentioned in the movie that they just revealed at the last minute. You were recalled. And butt ugly. Trip to Brazil for a little plastic surgery. And then back for my revenge. He's like, what the f***? Huh? <laughs> what? what? Wait, Bra Bra Brazil's in Bra the supermarket? Right, right. You went to the real world again? Is that what yeah. you did? You got miniature yeah, plastic surgery? she went to Brazil in that robot Mr. X suit. Got, got a Brazilian butt lift. But also, in addition to that, you can tell why she's evil because the big twist here is that all of these so-called good characters, they end up being just shallow asshole bullies, man. Yep. yep. Who pushed her into being what she is. Yeah, yeah. By like, the end, you're like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all y'all deserve this shit. Oh, look at you! <laughs> Sunshine chip slapped her back to ugly. Gross. They're like, they're like, ugh. And I even told her, like, wait a minute, you didn't used to be that other chick who used to be ugly as too? Yeah, the one time they bring up that other person, uh, her, who she was, they're like, oh, yeah, she was butt ugly. Oh, yeah, Ew. she was horrendous. Yeah, yeah there's, there's no kind message here about <laughs> body positivity or accepting others for who they are. That, if you're not attractive, you ain't shit. Even yeah. though everybody else in here is ugly. Yep. She's the one that's catching it. And speaking of being... Ugly, they take her ass off to ugly jail or something while everybody else goes back to all the other cute characters are gonna go back to partying again. Dex gets married to Sunshine the cat and they have a big wedding and everybody's partying happy ever after. But it's funny because they end the movie on the biggest twist of all. Dex is Jewish? Yeah, kosher. So who knew? That's it, y'all. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, yeah, at the, at the wedding, he steps on a carton of milk. Yeah. Oh, he, yep. but then Dex is Jewish? And then he says something in Yiddish, I guess. Yeah, the that, oy, 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 oy. <laughs> yeah people, that oh is it. Oh, my God. That, people are like, what the fuck? And that's <laughs> how you like, end what? the movie? Oh, uh, no, you, no, you end it with, with 15 minutes of credits with them dancing. Even though they end with this, but there is a message in the movie but it was early in the movie, and they just dropped it because they cut back to the grocery store owner who seemed like he's going to be a major character. And it seemed like they're going to have this, <laughs> it seemed like they're gonna have this, uh, this big message about not wasting food or, you know, making sure you eat everything you buy. Perfectly good bag of chips. Survival of the fittest. Leonard. Never open. <laughs> As he's trying to get away. Uh, uh, nah. Fuck your chips, bitch. <laughs> uh. And that man tree said like those chips, like he just that like like he just murdered someone. Yeah. He lifts that shit up like it's a dead body. <laughs> like it's one of his children. Yeah. Right, yeah, for real. Never opened. Never enjoyed. <laughs> Man, love chips, boy. Man. <laughs> oh, well, there you go, y'all. That is Food Fight. Food Fight. Food Fight. Food Fight. Yes. Appropriately named. This movie's so gross, it'll make you lose your appetite. <laughs>